opening up our top three is Fortaleza's Chaga Gallardo. The winger got the ball, brushed off the defender and struck from outside the area. Gets to his left foot one way, the other pulls the trigger! The keeper got a touch, but it wasn't enough to prevent the front man's fantastic goal. In at number two, Marcos Leonardo from Santos. Now Edgy Carlos has the opportunity for Marcos Leonardo. But he got a helping hand from Edgy Carlos and his amazing assist. Marcos Leonardo, the opportunity for the second. He found the number nine in a lot of space to deliver the goods in style. Our first place is probably one of the best in the league so far. Alex Manga on target against Red Bull. And a chance here, Dinto with the keeper, a great bit of skill! The striker left Natan in the dust and then flicked the ball over Clayton. What a masterpiece from Alex Manga. And the fans have gone wild here, he kept his call, cool. what a finish. The best save of match week 31 came in one of the weekend's top games. Fluminense and America put on a show in the Maracanã, and Mateus Cavicchioni was responsible for giving the Rabbits all three points. He's going to shoot! Cavicchioni with the save! Natan travelled well with the ball into the middle and then aimed for the top corner. The shot had all the angles, when the keeper produced a brilliant save to deny the player. Congrats, Mateus Cavicchioli. Beautiful save by Mateus Cavicchioli. Hodger Geddes produced a piece of magic to win the best skill award of the round. Fausto Vett is there to get it back. Ramiro. Hodger Geddes. The blonde devil showed just how resourceful he can be when he brushed off Vicino with the perfect sombrero. For this beauty, the number 10 gets the award for the best skill in round 31. Let's take a look at the best players and the manager that impressed us in the round. In goal, we've gone for Mateus Cavicchioli of America. At right back, Fagner Quirinchens. The two central defenders are Balbuena of Corinthians, Murillo Palmeiras. At left back, Juninho Capixaba from Fortaleza. In midfield, Matheusinho, America. Alan Patricki, Internacional. Mauricio, also from Internacional. The right winger, Lucas Braga Santos. On the left, Aleph Manga, Coritiba. Our front man is Pedro Raul from Goiás. This round's man on the bench is Wagner Mancini from America. The best player round 31 was absolutely crucial in the Colorado's win over Goyaz in the Estadio Berahil. Alan Patricki took advantage of the defender's mistake to put his side ahead when the game was tied. Lots of effort of the attack of the Reds. After the break, Boy has a drawn level once again and were better in the match when the midfielder headed in to help guarantee the win for the Reds. For his outstanding performance, Alan Patricki gets the award for the best player of the round. Twenty-one games in, the Brasilian row looks like this. Palmeiras continue to lead the way and have a 10-point gap over second-placed Internacional. Behind them are Corinthians, Flamengo, Fluminense and Atlético Paranaense, all in the top six. Moving down towards the wrong end of the table, Red Bull, Goiás, Curitiba and Sierra are not yet free of danger. The sides in the relegation zone are Cuiabá, Atletico, Goianiense, Abaí and Juventude. <music> Round 32 kicks off on Saturday with Goiás against Corinthians. 
America, Fortaleza and Flamengo against defending champions Atletico Mineiro. Sunday's action starts with leaders Palmeiras as they take on arch enemy São Paulo. There's also the relegation battle between Sierra and Cuiabá, Botafogo against Internacional, Troubles U and Trudy and Atletico Goianiense, Abaí vs Fluminense plus Atletico Paranaense as they take on Curitiba. The round ends on Monday with an important match between Red Bull and Santos. That's it for another week. We hope you're enjoying our coverage of the toughest and most exciting league in the Americas. And we will be back in the next round with more action from the Brazilian Rao Açaí.